Hey guys, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today we are out with the Bison XT on floats. We're getting ready for our flight, and uh, I'm gonna taxi it down this way because the wind is actually at our face right now, and I'm gonna take off straight into it. Here we go. I'm gonna turn into the wind, and we're gonna take off. Oh, much better. So the floats definitely add a little bit of tail weight to the airplane. So if you're going to fly off of the floats, you're going to need to move that battery forward from where you fly it with your wheels. But you can see it really settles in nicely. This is no flaps. It's just into that headwind right now. Nice and gentle. Tell you what, the wind is really hopping up there above the tree line. See what it turns out of the wind? Let's turn it in and come down low. Go for a loop. <laughs> kind of the wind caught us there. Like I said, the wind is so strong right there. <laughs> this is at the uh, local retirement park that we're flying at. We got permission from the uh, guys here at the park to fly off of this little pond and it's worked out real good. See if I can do a touch and go. I'm gonna try. Gotta have one heck of a stole approach for this one. Success power is plenty to get on and off the water with. I have a five minute timer set of useful throttle and the airplane really with the the floats on it you really don't need the flaps it has so much drag underneath that it slows down so well and this big wing makes so much lift already as you can see <laughs> the birds are going oh no what is that And the bicycle can still do acrobatics. We're going into the wind. We're going to go up. Loop. Into a hammerhead. And we'll go into another hammerhead. Power completely off. I might try and do a touch and go out of this. I think I'm going to be carrying too much speed, but maybe not. Oh, caught a little bit of a gust. Try it again. Let's go for another touch and go. That's what we're doing after all. We're out here on the water. Fly a little longer approach, get over these trees. Power off. Got to do a kind of diving approach here. Look at that. And it drives and handles very well in the water. Now that we're down here on the water, let's just focus on that for a second. So let me get it turned around. And you'll actually see when it gets up on step and gets established, this airplane really behaves well on the water. So you can see it gets on its step right there and it's ready to take off. If I just back off the power again, she'll just stop right there before the shore. Let's go up for one more pass and landing and then we're going to call this one good, guys. Here we go. She's got to break that suction off the water. She jumps right up in the air. So let's fly one more approach and one more landing, and then we'll bring it in and give you a battery report and uh, show you around some of the features of this model. So once again, I'm going to cut that over the trees. Some power completely off right now, gliding, adding a little bit of power to get over that pole, and flare at the end, just like that. All right, let's bring it in and uh, 
show you around the model. So there you go guys, a great flight off of this beautiful pond here at Continental Country Club. A big thanks to the guys over here off camera right now that are letting us fly out here today. It's been a lot of fun enjoying the floats here on the bison. So, you know, if you want to see some of the other features of this airplane, definitely check out our last video on the bison where we went over all the features and uh, parts inside of it. Let me grab the battery. So I'm sure we have the actual flight timer for this down in the corner over here. But uh, I had it set to uh, five minutes of useful throttle and I used about four and a half minutes. Uh, so we're at 390 a cell or 61% on the model after that short flight. So we definitely had more time in the tank. I'd say on a 4000 6S you can really set your timer to about seven minutes on this airplane with no issue. Be careful though, when you add the floats on the airplane becomes significantly more tail heavy. So this is a good time to put either a 5000 in or your 4000 you need to go on and slide all the way up in the nose. Just like before's video, you can balance it right off the uh, edge of those plastic pieces at the back of the slat mounting points that we showed you in that video. But yeah, if you're interested in getting this model, definitely check out our last video uh, where we went over all the specs and features of it. But for now, we're gonna let you guys go. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has something for you. Bye guys.